Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's Thursday afternoon. It's just about time for me to leave. Darren has an appointment today, his 12 month checkup, which means shots and I'm dreading that. If you can hear, they're both listening to Baby Shark in my bedroom. Um, but anyway, he is getting shots today and it gets a little bit crazy when I have both the boys. But afterwards, I have to go to Target because I have to return some things and I have some gift cards. I definitely want to get some kind of onesie for baby, baby boy. I will just tell you guys the gender. It's been a very long time. I am also 19 weeks. I turned 19 weeks yesterday, so I will show you how my stomach looks this time because it's so much higher compared to my other pregnancies. I carried super low. And last night I noticed that I'm carrying like really high this time. Like my bump, like the very curve of it is right where my belly button is, where usually it was like way lower. I don't know, it's super weird, but it is a boy. And I'm a little bit shocked because I did think it was going to be a girl even though I wanted a boy. But anyway, I do have errands to run and then I really want to stop by Panera afterwards. So I'm going to bring you guys with me and then just catch you up on like some of my symptoms and things that are going a lot differently this time around. So I'm going to head out because I think I only have, I have about seven minutes to load both of them into the car, which is also just a nightmare and a half because it's so hot and I like break out into a huge sweat trying to like wrestle them into their car seats because Landon always loves to run to the back of the car and like push all the buttons so anyway um oh I'll I almost forgot until I looked down I have Kevin's very last letter that I have to send out to him today well yesterday was the very last day but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine if I send it out today I just did not have time yesterday I completely forgot which I'm glad because I had something else to add to his letter but he graduates in seven days which is super exciting I miss him so much I'm not able to go to his graduation because of COVID but I will be able to text and call him and FaceTime and all that stuff until I'm able to move down there with him which I will touch base on a little bit later I really wanted to get it right trying to find some balance in my life but I never really put up a fight didn't follow my dreams and now I'm losing sleep I just love his little face when he's watching movies on the TV right here Look at him just smile. Hi. What? Grandpa Carol. Grandpa Carol? Part of your hair is falling out. Grandpa's sleeping. Oh, maybe. Enjoy the ride. Cause those ups and those downs is what makes it worth the while. my car's been making this weird noise of course so I have to get that fixed today um, Darren got four shots and he cried but he's okay he's watching chicken little right now he's perfectly fine um, this thing hasn't been focusing the mask took off like my whole lip color which makes me sad because I found the perfect lip color but anyway I had to stop and get gas and I ended up getting this Babe Ruth candy bar and I ate half of it and I'm really excited to eat the other half. I kind of want to go to the store and buy a ton of them because it was so good. I love candy bars that have like nuts in them. Um, but anyway, Darren is perfectly healthy. She checked up a little bit on Landon too. He's doing great. Um, I'm going to get Panera and then I'm going to go home and update you guys on everything that's going, going on with me in this pregnancy so far. And he is so tired and I'm praying he'll fall asleep. How did you get like that? How'd you get like that? <laughs> Landon, look at this. Who is this? Is it Mario? Do you want it? You want the shirt? It's really cute. Yeah? Let's get one in your size. Oh, I don't think, well they have, they have 12 months. 
That would totally fit you. Someone fell asleep. Buddy. Tired? Wanna go inside? <laughs> All right, so I got some cleaning stuff. I just needed these around the house. I ran out of these a while ago. Um, this is the best cleaner I've ever used in my entire life. I have the original scent. I think it's like a lemon. And I decided to get lavender. It works so well. Like, when it says deep cleaning, like, it really means deep cleaning. And then I saw this, and I thought I'd try it because this is also a power wash. Um, I have it over on the other side of my sink, but I thought this would come in handy. I got Landon a little Mario shirt because he loves Mario. And then I was in desperate need of tongs, so I grabbed those. Yes, honey? Batteries? Batteries, I'll go get them in one second. The boys needed more bowls and then these were on sale, so I just grabbed some of those. But for baby clothes, each one of my kids has like um, an animal theme, I guess you could say. Landon's was a fox, Darren's is a bear, and I saw the cutest little hedgehog onesies and I had to get them. I got them in zero to three months and I think this baby's theme is gonna be hedgehogs because how freaking cute. And then in a newborn size, I just got um, these onesies. They have like whales on them. This one I love. And I love this one because Darren's outfit um, is this pattern today. I kind of wish I got these in a newborn size but I'm gonna try and see if any small shops have like what are you doing? I'm gonna see if other small shops have like little hedgehog things for a coming home outfit. But that is what I got from Target today and I am just obsessed. And they even have like the little built-in mittens too. So this is just the outfit that I changed into. I tied this up so you can see. These are maternity biker shorts. Sorry for my dirty mirror. I mean, honestly, what do you expect? Um, anyway, these are maternity biker shorts that I got from Amazon and they are like really loose right here, but that's because when you get further along, you tend to drop more and like everything will basically be more filled out and I'm pretty petite, but this is in a size small and it's nice that they're actually loose. I like to wear these around the house, but I just want to show you guys my stomach because I feel like I am carrying like so high. Compared to my other pregnancies, I don't know, maybe that's low for you guys. But this is like pretty high. And I'm 19 weeks, I turned 19 weeks yesterday. But getting big, feeling large and in charge for sure. But yeah, I definitely feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm carrying really high. But yeah, this is the bump so far. Okay, you guys, before I really show you the sheep hand dinner, I just want to show you how I do the chicken. I basically, this piece is literally so messed up, but I cut tin foil and then I put olive oil down and then I kind of flip it on both sides to get oil on each side. And then I salt and pepper both sides and then I put paprika on both sides. And then on the top, I put a little bit of garlic and then I fold it up. And it should look just like this. And now I'm gonna show you like the rest of the sheet pan and how I do it. This is exactly what the sheep hand dinner looks like. I basically just used a rainbow of vegetables. I think it's called rainbow chicken sheep hand dinner. You can find it on Pinterest. I found this about three years ago and it's definitely a staple. I also use it with salmon, so good. Um, so I just use baby carrots, cherry tomatoes. I cut up onions and I make them into bigger chunks because they shrink when they get hot and I've made the mistake of cutting them small and then literally having like Barbie doll size onions. So 
make sure they're bigger so you have like a good amount to eat and then I have broccoli and then I just have my pre-wrapped chicken so I heat this at 450 and then I'll cook it for about 20 minutes it is going to be a late dinner tonight but the boys took a nap in the car for about a good 45 minutes so they're not really tired right now and they don't actually fall asleep until like 8 30 anyway so it all kind of works out but so it's the very next morning and I realized that I did not film my portion of the update for you guys. Basically the whole purpose of this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and read to you guys what I had on my notes. And then afterwards I'm going to get in the shower because you know, bedhead. You feel? Okay, so let me see. So today I'm technically 19 weeks in two days. Um, as you guys saw, like I'm carrying pretty high. Um, I finally purchased maternity clothes. I will be linking everything that you saw in today's video in the description box. I am obsessed with those dresses. They come in a bunch of different colors. They're super cute. Um, I felt kicks around 16 weeks, more like flutters, I would say. This is like tilting. More like flutters. And then around 16 weeks, I definitely felt like kicks. And now they're definitely like more consistent. He kicks a lot right after I eat. But other than that, I don't really feel him that much. Sometimes at night when I'm laying down, like I'll feel him. But he doesn't really move all that often. Um, I take a prenatal. It's those rainbow lights. I get them off of Amazon. I will link those down below. I love them because they have a multitude of vitamins in that one big horse pill. It is pretty big. But um, I think you, you know, you get what you buy. So... I like those way better than the other ones that I was taking. Um, I have been obsessed with drinking water in the middle of the night and I laugh because it's like a vicious cycle. I'm super thirsty but then I have to get up in the middle of the night like all the time to pee like three to four times and um, I do have to use the bathroom way more which is definitely one of the things that I don't like about being pregnant is just the fact that it kind of interrupts my sleep and it's always at the most inconvenient times. Um, my skin is finally getting that like pregnancy glow. Basically, it's just like way more oily and my hair too, um, which is like a good and bad thing. My hair grows really fast when I'm pregnant. Like I already cut it, I cut it like a week ago or something. And I feel like it already looks a little bit longer than it did. Um, but yeah, my skin is definitely starting to get a little bit more oily. Um, so usually during this time, you can get like edema, which is like swelling, bloody gums, and leg cramps. I don't usually get those until I'm past 20 weeks. So I know I'll be experiencing those soon. Leg cramps are literally like the worst, the worst. I hate them. I used to get foot cramps all the time when I used to do like karate and dance and they hurt. Um, I drink about 64 ounces of water a day, like I was saying. Um, sometimes when I'm really busy, I end up like cramming that all at night when I'm really thirsty. Obviously not the full 64 ounces, but the majority of them. Um, okay. I'm just quick reading so I don't have to look at this. So I wrote down some of my cravings. I am obsessed with Olive Garden Italian dressing. Like you guys have no idea. I eat that almost every single day with my salad. It's so good. Definitely sour candies, um, fruit roll-ups I've already loved, but I still eat like three a day. Um, yeah, I had a huge craving for popcorn for like two weeks. I ate it every single night. Um, I don't really know what I've been craving recently. I feel like they've kind of like subsided. In fact, I feel like this week in general and like last week, um, I don't know, like my appetite has kind of just gone down. I am so tired. Anyway, my appetite has just gone down. I feel like sometimes it comes in waves. Like my 17th week when I did what I eat in a day, I was eating like a freaking horse. Like I was eating so much food and I felt so good. And now I'm not. And I'm like, what is happening? I know I'm hungry. Um, my lower back is really starting to hurt. And I'm hoping that this baby doesn't like drop lower because I had that problem with Darren and I wasn't able to bend over and stretch my lower back. So I was just in constant pain all the time. Kevin would rub my back a lot, but it just, it wouldn't really go away. 
so I'm starting to definitely feel some like achy muscles um, I'm trying to work out I'm trying to build up my muscles so they can carry this baby during this pregnancy because that was another struggle I had with Darren was I lost all my muscle um, with Landon because I didn't work out I was like oh like I'm toned I'm fit like I'll be fine and then I was like well this pregnancy was super easy like this pregnancy is nope I was in so much pain physically and it was just a rough time so I'm really hoping that I can get back on track with that because I did lose like all my muscle weight from like four years ago so it's really hard to start working out when you haven't worked out in a really long time but i'm still young and i need to take care of my body so i've been doing that oh a big thing that i want to mention is that i've been getting braxton hicks and i know you usually get them towards the end it's like your body's way of like getting ready to have your baby like practicing contracting but you can actually have them pretty early on and this is my third pregnancy all close together i think each one of my pregnancies is like nine months apart or something like that um but basically very low in my stomach it will get extremely tight and like rock hard like i can just feel it when it happens um it lasts for about like 15 seconds and it it happens like once every two to three days but enough for me to notice it happened last week um, so it's been kind of consistent. Like I said, my body's probably just used to everything that's been going on. I probably noticed things way more than I did the first time. Um, I, I doubt when I was pregnant with Landon three years ago that I was like, oh, this is a Braxton Hick. So I've been having Braxton Hicks already. And that is basically everything for my update. I bet I will have more to update you guys on next week. If you guys haven't seen already, I have a full playlist of every single week that I've been pregnant with my last pregnancy. You guys really seem to like those, so I will link those in the cards as well. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video.